Okay guys, so something slightly different today. As you can see, we've got this Baton Discus Lock there and you can actually see the keyway there. We've actually got an Abloy Profile style keyway here. I believe these have got seven discs in it and I believe that they've got false gates and true gates right the way through the lock. And I know that the profile disc on the top has a true gate as well. Um, this lock was very kindly sent to me by Skolovsky Sporting Lock. So my friend, thank you very much for sending this lock over to me. I really do appreciate it. No key with this one, so we're gonna have to literally just pick our way through. And and uh, hopefully get the open. One thing I will say with these discus locks, obviously with it having a, a round uh, shackle there, the actual uh, tensioner hasn't got enough sort of rotational strength to actually open the uh, shackle. So when um, we actually rotate all these discs clockwise, as far as they'll go, you'll see that the actual profile disc is there. Once it's picked, it will go to about there, I would think. And uh, that will give us the indication that we've actually picked the lock. Um, and I'm just gonna have to give this a little help in hand. Um, the actual uh, tensioner itself, I've actually taken a little notch up the back of the tensioner there because it's got a little profile like a little um a little nib in the bottom disc there um and the actual picking tip itself is actually just made from an eight mil tube very similar to the abloy classic um just obviously slightly bigger okay so we've rotated all the discs clockwise as far as they'll go just going to make sure that we are actually that's good to go there let's just slide this in oh let's just put this together first shall we darren Okay, that's good. So we're just going to slide that into there. Okay, so we've now got tension on the lock um, and we're just going to go through and uh, see where we go. Okay, so disc number one, disc number two is binding. Nice little click out of two. Disc number three is there. Okay, let's just get on to disc number three. I'll just jump past it. Disc number three is there, feels fine. Four is there, got a nice little bit of movement on the core. Bottom disc there, disc number five. Obviously, we're tension off of uh, seven, so this must be disc number six. Okay, let's just come back up there. Okay, let's go back through again. Okay, got a nice little click that time. Just come back through the next disc. Next disc is binding tightly. Okay, it's good. Quite a lot of movement in that disc now. I'm quite happy that that's in a true gate now. Okay, it's good there. I slipped off that one, but I've got a lot of movement in that one now. Let's go down to the next one. Just got to try and slip through that disc. That's better. Okay, just had the tension a slightly the wrong angle there. So it's just a quick job to actually uh, make the tension on the tip there just to uh, get this lock open. Okay, so I just want to get to about there. That's good, okay. That's quite good. Okay, we've got plenty of movement on that one now. Go back to the top. Okay, that feels fine now, that feels fine now. Let's just turn that one more. Okay, got a little bit more movement on the core there. In fact, we've just got quite a lot of movement on the core there. I'm just gonna show you before we go too much further. As you can see now, the actual um, profile disc is like this now, um, and we've got quite a lot of movement on the core. So I actually believe we've actually got this picked now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll just take this out. As I said, there's not enough strength in the actual uh, picking and uh, the tensioner there to actually get this open. So what I'm gonna do is just give this a little uh, pull and we should, hopefully, there we go. Gotta get that open. So not too bad. As I said, a very crudely made cheap tool, but like I say, it does actually do the job. So a wonderful, wonderful lock, a real sort of nice lock to uh, to pick as well. Bear in mind, it's probably our way, as you can see, made in Taiwan. So it's very cheaply made, but, um, 
but very rare to have the false gates as well. Really nice to have the profile style keyway there as well. So a really wonderful, wonderful little lock, a real pleasure to pick actually. Um, I'll just get a lock back up and we can get that rotated around and you can feel that lock back up again. And of course we are now open. We're now closed again there. So a wonderful little lock. Um, my friend, thank you very much for sending it over to me. And of course I'll be sending this out to uh, somebody to have some more fun with soon. Listen guys, thanks ever so much for your time. And of course I hope to catch up with you again very shortly. Thanks guys.